a very good morning my students as per schedule it is our computer class and we are doing chapter number 4 that is word processing half of the chapter we have already completed we have already read and i knew that few of the questions that were not matching with your book so that is not an issue i will send you another copy for that and today we will do half chapter that is left in the previous class so i request you all please open your computer books and you should have pencil with you yes in the last video we had learned how we can insert the text or how we can move the text so let's start next one in this we will know new something more about ms word there are so many features in ms word in ms word we can add it we can copy we can paste and even we can use different colors we can beautify our text so for that is copying the text copying the text that you easily know that the same thing that is already uh, saved in one part that we can use in the next so copying and pasting options are used to duplicate the text and we can copy the text not only from one location to another within a document but even we can one document to another document why this is used why it is used copying it is helpful because it saves our time if we want to write the same matter at least 5 times 10 times so we do not need to write or we do not need to type that again and again only once we will write the same and then we can copy and we can paste that so what are the commands what are the procedure what are the process that we can copy the text in this first of all we should have to select the text that we want to copy and click on the copy button that is given in the clipboard or the other thing that we can use control plus c c means copy and a copy of the selected text is placed on the copy board clipboard whatever we will copy that will be saved in the clipboard so now what we will do we will uh, choose the desired place means we will choose the place where do we want to uh, copy the text and after moving there we will just click on paste button in the clipboard or the short command for this we will just press control and v key when we will press control and v v then the whole text that we have selected will be copied there next is deleting the text how we can delete the text just follow these steps for deleting the text first of all we will select the text then we will press the delete key and the selected text will be removed you can also delete the text by using the backspace key it removes the characters on the to the left side of the cursor or to delete a block of the text we have to select the text and then we can use delete or backspace key next we have given some commands that is undo and redo microsoft keeps a tracks all the changes that we had done in the ms word undo command it is the reverse we can reverse the effect of the last command and the short form for this is control plus z it's control plus z 
means for example if i have written uh, suppose i read in class 3 and i want to study more and more studying is my best hobby and by mistake my this text that i have typed that is deleted so now what i will do again i will type no i will just press control and z control and z key with the help of this key we can get our text again means we do not need that type again and next is redo comma the shortcut key for the redo is control plus y it is to reverse the action of the undo command click on the redo button that is given on the quick access toolbar next is with the help of ms word we can check our spellings or grammar mistake word that has inbuilt dictionary and that has a set of different words different grammatical rules incorrectly spelt for example if you have written uh, i read in class 3 and the spelling of read you have written r a e d so this word will be underlined with a red wavy line it indicates that the spelling of this word is wrong and all the grammatical errors are all the grammatical errors are displayed with a green wavy line so what are the process for checking the ans words firstly we will right click on the word with a red wavy line what we will do we will click the word that is displayed with a red wavy line and after that a shortcut menu will open that will display various suggestions to you for example select the correct spelling from the suggestions list and after that microsoft word that will automatically replaces your incorrect spelling with the selected option then next we have thesaurus what is thesaurus thesaurus it is a list of synonyms and antonyms synonyms means words with similar meaning words with similar meaning and antonyms antonyms means words with opposite meanings to check thesaurus we should use different words different process first of all we have to select the word which we want to find synonyms or antonyms and after that we will click on the review tab that you can see here and thesaurus option in the proofing group then the research task pane will open displaying the synonyms and antonyms then what we have to do we have to move the pointer to the suitable word and then we will click down click on the drop down button and select the insert option what will happen the existing word will be replaced with the new one so this options is provided by ms word and there are so many advantages of using ms word when you will do practical for this you will be well known about it whenever we will have online class in that class i will tell you about all the commands like control plus z control plus c control plus y control plus v all the commands all the commands those are given in this chapter 
you just learn them because these commands will help you and just write question answers in your book only okay yes so only this much for today my lovely kids we will meet in the next class with a good thought with a new chapter till then have a nice day bye bye